All right, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Volantis back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Ektar 100. But before we get started on that, let's just check out this hat real quick. It's just my, my homie Lord Fubu made me this hat. It's one of one, some Michigan patches on there. It's a Detroit hat. Um, you know, I love Michigan. Where's that? Ah, I love Michigan. You know, everything we do is limited very i love this hat man this is this is now my favorite hat because it's a custom art piece it's one of one and you know if y'all know me i'm i'm really into hats i know that has nothing to do with why y'all are watching this video but i just thought i would share that for the people who care about me as a person and outside of photography i would just, i just thought i'd share that so yeah love this hat so i was never ever a fan of ektar 100 and to be completely honest if i'm going to be 100 percent real with y'all because y'all know i like to be honest so y'all know i don't like to pretend or fabricate or make things up but i was never a fan of ektar 100 based off like the one time that i shot with it and i really wish i still had those photos but it's on an old hard drive that crashed and all that but regardless i didn't like those photos i didn't necessarily like how i guess i just didn't like how saturated it was during this time i was shooting with a bunch of other films it was when i first started film photography so i was shooting with a bunch of different films just trying to figure out what film i liked the most and i didn't like this film also this uh the lab that i went to just it wasn't a very good lab so the scans weren't very good and the colors were off and it just didn't look good randomly i had a roll of egg tar 100 and i shot it for a video that i just made with jessica cabasi if y'all haven't checked that video out go check it out but so the only reason that i shot with egg tar to begin with is because all the i used all the film that i brought with me i had only brought like five rolls or so maybe six and um only had one roll left and it was egg tire and i just shot it because i was like whatever it's the it's all i got left so we're gonna see i wasn't expecting much from it but boy these colors are crazy like when i got the scans back from the lab i was actually in shock like i couldn't believe it. i couldn't believe that like i didn't for some reason i think because i let the internet tell me that egg tire wasn't a good film that i just went along with it and i was just like yeah you know whatever i just probably just won't use it but bro egg tar is up there like to me in my opinion after this like after seeing these photos i was like oh no egg tire is up there so to continue to test the theory um when I was just in LA, I went out there and I also shot some more photos and I had two rows of egg tire with me and I shot those photos. So I'm gonna just cut over to that and just let y'all see that real quick. All right, um, yeah, so right now we're in Silver Lake. Um, that uh, there's a view of LA from like the top of a street. I'm pretty sure you've seen it even if you're not from LA or even if you're like not a photographer, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen it before. And if not, you're about to see it in a second but yeah man we're about to test out not even test out we're about to what's oh i got some film already in here what's in here oh i loaded some portrait when we were in san francisco but i never shot it so we're gonna shoot that first but um this video is going to be mainly um us shooting with some kodak ektar as you're seeing ektar do be hitting i know i, I know i hated on ektar a lot in the past but i just don't think i was old enough to fully appreciate it or just like mature enough to fully appreciate it and understand it and um just appreciate its capability so we got two rows of egg tar right now that we're gonna oh god bless you <laughs> yeah we got two rows of egg tar that we're going to shoot um up here in silver lake is this the car sounds like it yep <laughs> heard that boy coming <laughs> she but anyway, yeah, gonna shoot with these two rows of egg tar and then uh, just, I don't know, just see how it is. I like, um, I'm like that I'm in LA doing this because, you know, LA got a bunch of colors, good saturated film. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's do it. Let's say what's up to bro, though. Valandis. Alan. Nice to meet you, nice man. Much, bro. Yeah, so you're not gonna get confused. Alan. Uh, Valandis. How you doing, Alan? <laughs> really? How you <laughs> Are y'all brothers? Fuck. No, just friends. <laughs> 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 Y'all funny as hell. <laughs> right there, right there. No, you can uh, keep it like that, but low-key open the door and stand inside. Just like stand there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you can face towards me. Put like your other arm on top of the. Yep, perfect. They got enough room. 
uh, like step out, like like you're about to step out, step out? like like you're about to step out, like that. Yep. Perfect. And then you can uh, look up at me. Yep. <laughs> Let me uh switch uh film real quick. Time for the real. Low key, we could like uh com compare this shit to um, the portrait too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is a landscape. But you know, we add some life into it. Not to say landscapes don't got life, but you know, some human life. You feel me? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, people are probably pissed. Not at all. All right, let's get that. Oh my God, accident. Wasted a shot. Amazing. Actually, could you sit at the front of it? Yeah. And then just like look that way. Wish this bitch ass Jeep wasn't right here. Jeep throwing off my vibes. All right, perfect. Ah, uh, let's see. Then you can bring it, I guess, back up this way. So as y'all can see, man, Ektar is it. Like, I love how saturated the colors are. I love the colors from it. I love, bro, I just actually really like Ektar. It might be up there. Like, for me, I probably couldn't use it all the time. And I wish um, I had more things to shoot with it. But I do actually like it a lot, man. I want to try it out in, like, um, like in a landscape situation. Like, I might go to um, Washington later this year. And I think I might just bring, I like, I might only bring Ektar with me the whole time that I'm there. But anyway, as y'all seen, bro, Ektar is amazing. Like, it's actually an amazing film. And I'm so upset, so mad that I slept on it and I didn't give it the time of day because of whatever reasons that I had. But bro, I'm going to be buying a lot more of it, especially with summertime coming around and it's gonna be a lot of like colors popping out and a lot of sunny days. So um, perfect to use for sunny days. It's a 100 speed film. So it's definitely gonna be a good summer film for me at least. And I actually can't wait to use it, man. But yeah, just if, if nothing, take from my experience. Do not let the internet tell you. And I've been saying this since the day of time, but do not let the internet tell you something is good or is not good without trying it first. You know, everybody has their own opinions on things. So um, trying it first and seeing for yourself is the best thing you could do. Are you trying to come in here? <laughs> come on. Yeah, I, I heard you. I heard you creeping. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> also sorry if the lighting keeps changing because the sun keeps coming out then it goes away and it's annoying but anyway um but in this situation i am so upset with myself for letting my one experience with this film um and this lab and just whatever other reason influence my decision to not shoot ektar a lot more than i actually do because i think it might be the most slept on film for kodak like that kodak makes i think you know, Portrait 400 and Portrait 800 are clearly like, in Portrait 160, even though I'm not a big fan of 160, but 400 and 800 are like clear going to be like 
winners in this race of film because of just how natural they are and how much you can use it for literally anything whereas i think ektar where i think ektar and like their other films have like specific looks and like specific things that they're used to shoot but in my opinion i feel like you can shoot anything with ektar if you put your mind to it because i shot these portraits with ektar now granted it was a lot of colors and a lot of things adding to the fact that you know ektar played a big role in but um you you could shoot anything portraits i really thought it was only just a landscape film but in my opinion it can be used for anything if done right i guess so yeah i think i'm going to be shooting a lot more ektar on this channel and if and if not bro somebody needs to hold me to it somebody needs to call me out like if 10 videos go by or however many videos go by and y'all haven't seen me shooting ektar somebody please just call me out be like bro what you doing didn't you say you was gonna shoot ektar did you just only say that to make that video or like were you serious like what's going on like be on me bro like definitely be on me because i definitely need to start shooting more of it i definitely need to start learning it a lot more and just like um figuring it out figuring out where to shoot it how to shoot it and things like that so i'm actually excited because i have something new to learn and something new to kind of you know um test so i'm definitely excited that i gave myself that opportunity and just was like fuck it i'm gonna shoot with it so um can't complain um yeah bro excited to uh continue to test it out and excited to continue to shoot with it and just excited to for what's to come and the new pictures to make use in this film so yeah man i can't i can't wait to see the results so anyway um that's probably going to wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed to the channel i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do so anyway man we're about to get up out of here man and let's go do some shit you know the vibes